so hey guys welcome back to my channel um we have we had a little bit of a situation this morning and ginger would not my mom tried to give him his bottle and he wouldn't take it and he threw up all over her and then a little while later probably like 10 10 minutes later 15 minutes later he puked again so we think so yesterday and they were outside and they were eating or he was nibbling on a plant we didn't know what it was looked it up it turns out it was an azalea so that's not good and he's just not really acting like himself usually he's very energetic and he's not he fell asleep on me and you know, he's never fallen asleep on me or even laid in my lap for five minutes and he took a nice little nap in my lap so my mom called the vet my mom's at work but she's leaving right now she's gonna come home and we're gonna to the vet i think he'll be okay but you know one of those things better safe than sorry so i'm gonna go ahead and take him home my poor little bunkin and he keeps grinding his teeth like that so that's probably not good so i don't really know a whole time right now i don't know what the vet's gonna say but we're gonna take him to the vet and i will let you guys know when i have an update hey guys so um oh, i'm back now from the vet so basically we dropped him off and we left him there for two hours. We just went and picked him up like half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Um, I have him right here. They gave him, they gave him fluids. They gave him an anti-inflammatory shot for his stomach. And um, yeah, so, but he's, I'm not really doing better. They think he'll be okay. He's exhausted from the fluids, but yeah. My little buggy almost died. Oh, Cosmo. That said not to jump on your brother. So okay, so the best said to mix half gator, get half water get like electrolytes so we're gonna do that um yeah they said that Cosmo no jumping on your brother he's really tired I guess he was crying a lot there he so he this morning he threw up like Cosmo's on my computer um he, I guess he so he blah, 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 blah. all right this morning he threw up over my mom and then he threw up on the spool. And then, oh, uh, you okay, bud? Here's your towel. And then he, um, he didn't throw up again until we brought him to the vet. And then I guess he threw up a lot there. And now he's been throwing up a little bit, but yeah but the vet said that it's a good day storing up he's getting rid of all of it that's the fluids are for to help get rid of all that they said that he should be better in like 24 to 36 hours so that's good yeah i hope you all get back to his usual playful jumpy self he's sleeping right now Cosmo. I mean, this is, he's never fallen asleep. Cosmo. He's never even fallen asleep on me before, so that's how I knew something was off this morning when he, well, obviously after he threw up, but he just wasn't acting his usual self. Usually he jumps on you when you first open the door to the pen. He barely even looked at me. Um. And then he jumped on my lap and he laid down and 
he stayed on my lap for like 10 minutes you know he never stayed on my lap for that long he's just like up down up down up down like a little toddler and then he fell asleep on my lap this morning and yeah, that's just not ginger so Yeah, you're for the way he's there for quite a bit when he's waking up. He keeps making that noise. It's an awful noise, but getting it all out. So I hope he'll be okay, but I guess I will update you if he's feeling better. Hey, bud. I'll update you guys again in a little bit, maybe tonight. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give another quick little update. He's doing much better. He's up. He hasn't puked since I last saw you guys. It's been over an hour. So he's doing much better. He's definitely perked up. He's still grinding his teeth, but. He's so much better. He jumped up on the stool. Huh. He's up. He was jumping on me. So he's definitely much, much better. He might have told you. So, anyways, I'm glad that he's doing much better. Let's hope it stays that way. Um, I will give you guys another update soon. Hey guys, so I wanted to give another little update. I never updated last night, um, so at the last time I knew he was doing better, um, and then last night he started puking a lot again, couldn't keep even electrolytes down, it was pretty rough, but this morning he seems to be doing better, he's not grinding his teeth or regurgitating, he's getting some sleep. So, that's good. I hope he continues to do better. I will update you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I wanted to give a little update. I know, lots of updates. But I wanted to give another update. Um, he's doing much better. He hasn't been grinding his teeth all morning. Hasn't regurgitated at all. He's able to get some electrolytes in him. And for breakfast, he did drink four ounces. And I just gave him some more. He had four more ounces. Um, and I was able to get... I don't really know how much electrolytes. L L L L uh, electrolytes that I need but I was able to get some into him um we've been using so the vet told us to use Gatorade at half Gatorade half water so we were doing that yesterday he was just puking it up so we gave him that but there's a lot of sugar in Gatorade and stuff it's not really the healthiest it's giving a lot of energy so I switched over to using that um, recipe. It's like a teaspoon of molasses, teaspoon of baking soda, and four quarts water. Oh, and half a cup. I don't know. There's, I don't know the exact measurements, but it's molasses, baking soda, um, salt, and water. So. And he took that too. I just, um, yesterday we were feeding with a, ooh, Cosmo. And yesterday I was feeding him with a syringe and he was just puking it up. He wouldn't take it. Today he actually took the syringe, but it was kind of messy. So I put a nipple on the end of the syringe and he took it wonderfully. So that's super good. Um, so he had, I mean, it's not a, we don't have a big syringe. It's pretty small, but 
like it's not a lot I don't know but I did um I definitely definitely did get some electrolytes into him so that is good and he like yeah he did really well so that's good and like I said he has not been grinding his teeth or regurgitating at all this morning I don't think he's vomited all morning last night he was slowing up so much again but hopefully he stays better yeah, I don't want him to get better and then get worse so he's jumping around he's but like I said I think the jumping around might have something to do with all the sugar in the game <laughs> he had a red chin earlier from the fruit punch fruit punch Gatorade so yeah all right well I will maybe do another update at lunchtime a few hours so goodbye One week later. Hey guys, so um today is Wednesday, April twenty first. And Ginger is doing really good. Um but now Cosmo is sick and I don't know what he ate. He definitely did not have Salia or rhododendron or hydrangea. He did not have any of those. I don't know what he did eat, but and now he's the one who's throwing up. I gave him so yesterday for breakfast he ate two ounces. And I was like, well, I'm not sure. So I gave him Pepto Bismol. Because that's all I had at the time. And then at lunchtime, he ate fine. And then last night at dinner, he only ate three ounces. And then this morning, he didn't even have like half an ounce. And so I thought since they're, they've just been like eating a lot of hay lately, I thought, you know, maybe he's just not really hungry. But then I came down here to take care of the rabbits and I checked on them and Ginger, these on, um, ginger days on Blossom were all sleeping together and he was just hiding underneath this pool. And then I saw the puke in here. So he threw up, I think twice. I gave him some activated charcoal. I don't know if it was too late or not, but I don't know. So I texted my mom and she answered me. But I don't know. He's just he's just grinding his teeth and I have no idea what they ate. I mean we took him in the woods last night but I'm pretty sure you only eat stuff that they have been eating like checkerberry and pine needles like pine saplings so I don't know what he ate the made him poisonous but it definitely was not like a failure or anything I don't think just doing good but now we have another sick all right so as you guys saw this morning i was a mess well um so did i explain to you 
what I think boys do. No, I don't think I did. Last night, let me do my kids. Uh, last night, me, me and my mom took the goats for a walk on the trail. And um, Cosmo likes to stay a little bit behind and likes to run and catch up. <coughs> so, he stayed a little bit behind. And when I look like when I, he's eating something, and my mom went over there and realized he was eating something like dead plant. And she said, like, oh, it looks like a rhododendron. But, like, and then she looked at it, and she's like, no, like, the leaves are different. It's weird. So maybe it was a rhododendron. I don't know. That's the only thing they were eating so he ate that in the trail the only other thing that they were eating in the trail were pine saplings which they have been eating since we got them and wintergreen berry plants that's the only other thing that they've been eating and all four of them were eating that and they have been for weeks so i don't know and there's no chance that he could have gone near the azaleas or the rhododendron plants that we do have so I don't know, but the activated charcoal came in the mail yesterday, so that's good. So, but last night, I didn't know, so I gave it to him this morning, but after he had already puked, and he was being really stubborn, he didn't want to take it, but he finally did take it, and then, yeah, so, I don't know, he's been puking all day, like, bad a lot of puke and then he, um before lunch he actually got a little better he wasn't puking i gave him a, some electrolytes and then i don't know lunch time he started getting really bad again and then i just went down there like a few minutes ago and he was drinking water on his own. So that's good. And I was going to try to. I tried getting him, giving him more like electrolytes, Gatorade electrolytes. But I did not. He did not want it. Um, it's hard for me to like hold him. Hold his head, open his mouth, and put the syringe in at the same time. So, it's like, you know, it. so I put a bottle of Gatorade into their just regular drinking bucket, like drinking water bucket. Because if he was drinking water on his own, then. so there's that. I didn't see him actually drink it with the Gatorade yet. But. That's good. He wasn't grinding his teeth. Well, he was a little bit, but not as bad. And. Yeah, and he didn't throw up. So that's good. But it literally looks like a war zone in their pen now. All over the spool. All over the walls. Oh. Poor baby coach. But I hope he's going to be okay. We never brought him to the vet. Both my parents are working. I don't know. So... We'll see. I'll update you guys in a bit. Hey guys. Um, I don't know when I last updated you, but I'm down here in the pen. Cosmo, he's just kind of hiding. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right there. Hey, buddy. I don't hear him grinding his teeth. So that's good. And I don't think he's puked. In a little while, he's puking when my mom got home around three. Ow. He's dancing on my back. But I don't see any like new puke. I don't hear him grinding his teeth, so that's good. Maybe tonight I can. Ooh. Hello, Diesel. Maybe tonight I can get some 
electrolyzing to them because it's hard. Like I can't do it by myself because <laughs> because um I can't like hold him, open his mouth, and put the syringe in at the same time. So I'll see if maybe my mom can help me. So, but he did have some water. I think I told you guys that. <laughs> oh. Okay, hi Daisy. I'm getting attacked by baby crunchies. But I think he'll do okay. Cross my fingers. But we shall see. Maybe I'm getting attacked by these three. 